Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to take another problem from JE Advanced from 2019. We have x squared minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. P and Q are roots of this equation. And P is greater than Q. Now we are defining a general term here. We defined it as a n and it is defined as p to the power of n minus q to the power of n over p minus q for n greater than or equal to 1. With this general term, we are going to find a1 over 10 to the power of 1 plus a2 over 10 to the power of 2 plus a3 over 10 to the power of 3 and so on and so forth. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem. See you in a bit. To solve this problem, let's review the equation again. We have a general term defined as a n is equal to p to the power of n minus q to the power of n over p minus q. And we want to find sigma of a n over 10 to the power of n for n is equal to 1 to infinity. Obviously, let's start with writing what we have for a n here. Let's replace a n with p to the power of n minus q to the power of n over p minus q. Then we need to simplify it a little bit further. Now let's review the fraction again. First of all, we have p to the power of n, q to the power of n, 10 to the power of n, and p minus q. p minus q is independent of n, so we can take it out from the sigma. On the other hand, we cannot do that for the values that we have for p to the power of n, q to the power of n, and 10 to the power of n. Instead, I'm going to write p to the power of n as p to the power of n over 10 to the power of n. I'm going to do the same thing for q to the power of n, and then the whole expression can be written as what you are seeing here. If we take out p minus q, and write it as 1 over p minus q times the sigma that we have. And then we can find the value that we have for p to the power of n over 10 to the power of n. It can be written as p over 10 over 1 minus p over 10. We can use the same approach for q to the power of n over 10 to the power of n. At the end, what you are going to see is the expression that we have here. Now, we just need to simplify the expression. I'm going to remove 10 from top and bottom of the fractions that we have. Then the whole expression can be written as 1 over p minus q times. For the first term, I'm going to write it as p over 10 minus p. And then for the second term, I'm going to write it as q over 10 minus q. Now this needs to be simplified a little bit further. Let's use p minus q, 10 minus p, and 10 minus q for the denominator. Then we will end up with p times 10 minus q minus q times 10 minus p. To simplify it a little bit further, I'm going to simplify what I have in the denominator. 10p, 10q, they are going to stay. However, we have minus pq and plus qp. We can remove them. At the end, we have 10 times p minus q for the top of the fraction and p minus q times 10 minus p times 10 minus q for the bottom of this fraction. 
Now we can remove p minus q from both top and bottom of this fraction and then simplify what we have for the rest. By now we have 10 over 10 minus p times 10 minus q. From here it's not very straightforward. So let's simplify what we have a little bit and see what we can do. We have 10 for denominator and we have 100 minus 10 times p plus q plus pq. Now remember p and q are roots of x squared minus x minus 1 is equal to 0 and p is greater than q. So p plus q is going to be 1 and pq is going to be negative 1. Now replace those values we are going to end up with 10 over 89 for the final answer of this problem. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, math involved activities and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please kindly subscribe to this channel. This is the security channel. See you in the next video.